So when I was a teenager, I lost my dad unexpectedly. He was a hero of mine, and one morning I got a phone call, and they said to me, your dad's died overnight of a huge heart attack, and I was devastated. I'd been only been a Christian for about a year and a bit, and it was um, early days in my walk of faith, and everything was quite fragile. And I remember really falling apart, and I, I got on a plane to travel home. I was away at the time, and I had in my hand luggage in my Bible, and I said, God, I don't know what's going on. Yeah, I thought you were meant to be good. I thought you were meant to be on my side. And in that moment, God was very kind. And I've, I've, I've never sort of, um, you know, this, this is not something that happens to me every day. But in that moment, God spoke to me. And I, was, I remember exactly where I was. I remember the peanuts I was eating. In those days, you could get peanuts on a plane. <laughs> peanuts and a Diet Coke sitting there on this plane with my Bible. And I was in floods of tears trying to look out the window so the steward wouldn't catch me crying and um, I just felt the Holy Spirit say to me read Psalm 2 verse 7 I flick my Bible open Psalm 2 verse 7 says this now I had not read Psalm 2 verse 7 that morning it wasn't like something I was familiar with but the words were unmistakable in that moment I'd lost my dad I was in a wreck I was in a mess I was questioning my future my purpose whether God was even real it says this in Psalm 2 verse 7 you are my son and today I have become your father. And at that moment in my life, I was like wrecked because I'd lost a dad that morning. But God was saying, look, let me be your father. God is a father. And in that moment, I learned that truth that Jesus says, our father in heaven, Abba, in fact, the word in the Aramaic is very intimate. It's like dad. Like God loves you and me like a child and a parent. A father loves a child. It's like insane, that goodness. And any moment when we call out to him, he will answer that and say, look, I'm your, your, your father. Let me love you as a father. Let me look after you. Let me step into that wound and that gap and that moment of brokenness and scoop you up in my arms and assure you that you are loved, you're needed, you're known. I've got a plan and a purpose for you.